Okay. What's up, everyone? Um, I just wanted to get back to you guys about this tutorial stuff. Um, I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I probably won't do one again, but I know a lot of people have been asking me for music, so I just wanted to put this out for you guys as um, a final video just to show how you can do music in it. Now, none of these methods are perfect, but this is just the way that you do music in um, Bex and this um, basic program. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find TFM Maker version 1.5.2. TFM Maker is a Sega Genesis music making program. Um, pretty much you can make your own music in it, right? Um, if you've ever used Family Tracker, it's kind of similar to it, except for the fact that it's all, it's all for the Sega Genesis. Um, it does have some limitations. You can't use samples and you can't use the PSG channels. But that's alright because the stuff sounds pretty good. Here's one of the example songs that are in here already. Sounds pretty good, right? So let's say we want to bring this into our game. Um, I'm just, I don't have any rights to this. This, this song belongs to uh, John Silver, but I just wanted to, it came with the program, so I'm just using it as an example. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find a program, go into your Bex installation folder and find the Lacabajo folder and open the file called test RAM game. So like I said, you're going to want to find where you have the, your Lacabajo folder, like right here. You want to find that and you want to look for this file called testramgame.bex and you also want to find music.tfd these two are very important so basically you're um this is i just copied the file into a new folder and um here it is this is a um this is test ram game i commented out the top code and it uses it basically as a player for tf um tfm music maker in bex and it's written by this person named shiru thank you shiru Wrote a whole bunch of good software for Sega. So here is the player. Now you don't really have to do anything to all this. The main thing you have to worry about is the last line. It's called this is called the music data, um, the music data label, and music.tfd. That's the music file. So what you want to do is you want to go back into TFM Music Maker, click File, Export, and exports TFD for SMD. So you want to click that. And then you want to just um, name it, right? So we have it named music.tfd. Make sure you go into wherever you have this saved. I have it saved in F, Jenna Music. So let's just go there. F, Jenna Music. All right. And let's call this new.tfd. New.tfd. Right. Boom. So if we change this to new.tfd, right? Um. I mean, I edited it, I added some stuff in the main loop just to show, like, a label. It doesn't always work, this kind of an iffy method, but, I mean, this is what I what I used to use when I did all the Sega Genesis programming back in the day. So, let's click Run. So, I compiled, the, you can notice that the ROM size is pretty big, because that's, that's all the music file. working so like we could actually make stuff like in this so I could add a, like a for loop in here for example like for a while a while uh, let's make x equal one oops x equals one uh, when print I can make x greater than zero. X. Right. So we can redo this, and you can actually have game logic running. So I'm actually gonna make a make it sleep, so it doesn't like overload itself. Sleep one. Let's do it again. See. So as long as you have everything running in this music loop, you can do whatever you want. You can actually have your game running as you see I'm doing here. So, while the music is playing. Now, let's say you want to have a different song going, right? So, we would do... I, let me see. I want to make sure I remember how to do this properly. So, let's just make this music too. I know I have another file called music.tfd. So, data file, music.tfd, bin. 
because that's the, the type of the binary file. Um, so we're just going to say if x equals uh, 20. Or, yeah, no. 150. If x equals 150. Uh, I, forgot, I forgot to do this thing. It's been such a while since I've done this program, y'all. Sorry for the lameness. Then, I've been doing Python all this time. And if, right, then, uh, want to do, um, reload. Whoops. Music, too. Alright. Let's try that. So when it gets to 150, the songs to change. It didn't. Oof. Um. Oh. 150. Yep. Alright, see? We switched the song. Alright. So, those are both songs I didn't write. I mean, I could probably make another video just showing the basics of this program, even though it has not been in development in a while, and he, he, he Shu's shown, um, Shiru has shown that they're not interested in completing it, but, um, or doing more with the software, but it's still pretty capable. Um, if you want to stop your music, I recommend just making an empty TFD file and just switching to that, but yeah, this, this is the basics of how to put music in, um, in Bex. I'm going to attach this code to you, to, to, to their stuff, but like I said, it's pretty much all the code you really need is already with the Bex program. Um, other methods to making music are, uh, this is, an, this is a, uh, the XGM driver, and it looks like that you can actually do um, XGM music using, man, I don't even know how this mess works. I tried to get it to work before, and for the life of me, I could not. So, I mean, if, if you want to try to mess around with this, I'll put the link in it. Um, there's also another way that you can actually load WAV files. Let me see. Where's my, uh, my guide right here? Here's my guide. Here's my guide. Um, that's not, that's not the link. Oh, this is the link for, um, TFM Maker. I'll put that in the description. Um, here is the video that this person was able to load a WAV file into Bex. Now the quality is pretty low, I don't know if you can hear that, but I mean, hey, maybe you could do it, I probably wouldn't make it, recommend doing both TFM and this, because I, I just don't know how that would clash, I mean, we could see if it's addressing the same like stuff here, but like I said, I don't know, and I don't know, so I mean, you could try it if you want, I don't know, and I know when you try to do this, you have to like, Make it like an 8-bit mono, I think. You have to do a few things to make to make the file work. But like I said, I don't know. Um, I also, there was a program I wrote that uses the PSG stuff. That's pretty much just written in Bex. But it doesn't really work that well. And it's kind of iffy. So I'll talk to you guys about that later. But yeah, this is um, that's the gist of it. Thanks for watching. Peace.